no problem. Thank you. So uh, it's my pleasure to introduce the last speaker of today, uh, Leonardo Roa Leguizamon from the Universidad Michoacana in Mexico, will speak about the SEGRI invariant for rank two vector bundles on P2. Leonardo, please go ahead. Thanks to the organizer for the invitation. Today, I'm going to talk about the SEGRI invariant for rank two vector bundles on surfaces. I will show that this invariant induces a stratification of the modular space. And I will show some applications related to brin letter theory. So this is a joint work with Hugo Torres and Alexis Zamora. A preliminary version of this work can be found in archive. And the final version can be found in advanced in geometry. So let me start by recalling some definitions and general results about rank to vector bundles on surfaces. So I will denote by X a smooth, irreducible, complex project surface. And let H be an ample divisor on the surface. So a rank to vector bundle is called H stable if the degree of the line bundle is less than the usual slope of the vector bundle where the degree of the vector bundle is defined as the intersection of its pressure class with the ample device. So the notion of stability was introduced first for, was first introduced by Monfort for vector bundles on curves and later generalized by Takemoto for vector bundles on surfaces. So in the seventies, Maruyama proved that there exists a modular space for vector bundles with fixed chair classes. And since then, uh, these modular space have been of great interest by their connection with several branches of mathematics, principally algebraic and differential geometry and physics. So, however, a lot of problems related to topological and geometric properties of these modular spaces remains open. Remains open. So the following questions are open in general. So when the modular space is not empty, so is, is the modular space connected, irreducible, rational, smooth? So what is its geometry? So what is the ample and effective cons or divisor of the modular space? Now, in order to get topological and geometric properties of the modular space, we have extended the concept of the Segre invariant for vector bundles on, on curves to run to vector bundles on surfaces. So for a run to vector bundle, the Segre invariant is defined as the difference between the degree of the vector bundle and two times the maximum degree of all sunline bundles of P. So informally, so the Segre invariant is a measure of stability. A low value of the invariant indicates a line subbundle of large degree. So the term invariant is used because it doesn't change under tensor product of line bundles. It is easy to check that the vector bundles are stable if and only if the Segre invariant is greater than zero. So the Segre invariant is a finite number because the degree of all sudline bundles is bounded. Okay. So a um, line sud bundle is called maximal if it has maximum degree among all sudline bundles of E. And if the line bundle is maximal, so the line bundle determines the value of the Segre invariant and the vector bundle can be written in this set sequence. Okay, so a crucial point about the Segre invariant is that it induces a lower semi-continuous function on families of rank to vector bundles parameterized by the modular space. And this property, the lower semi-continuous function induces a stratification of the modular space into locally closed sets according to the different values of the invariant. 
to, to different values that the function can take. So um, among the different questions that one can ask about this stratification, I'm interested in the following. So uh, what is the maximum value that the function can take? Mm, for which values of x are the stratum empty? That means for which values of x there exists an unstable vector bundle such that the Segrain variant is equal to x? So what is the dimension of each stratum? Is the stratum irreducible? And finally, how to use this stratification to get information related to brain letter theory? So now I will study this stratification for the modular space of run to vector bundles on the project plane. Well, um, for we okay, in this case, we must recall that for vector bundles on the project plane, there is a unique notion of stability. So we mean stability with respect to the line bundle of one. And by a Boosom notation, I will denote the degree of the vector bundle as its partial class. And I will denote the Segrain variant by X. Also, since the Segrain variant doesn't change under tensor products of a line bundle, we can assume that the degree of the vector bundle is equal to minus one or zero. In fact, we, I will only study the case when the degree is equal to zero. Okay, so let's begin studying. Let's begin by answering these questions. So, note that for the modular space of run to vector bundles with degree equal to zero, the function induced by the Segrain variant only can take even values. So, we want to determine which values, which possible values of k can the function take? For which values of k there exists an unstable vector bundle such that the Segrain variant is equal to 2k? So if the stratum is not empty, what is the dimension of the stratum? Is the stratum irreducible? Okay. Now, okay, I will answer, okay, the answer of these questions is given by this theorem. So in this theorem, we determine all possible values that the function can take. And for each of these values, we prove that there exists an unstable vector bundle such that the Segrain variant is equal to 2k. Also, we prove that any element in the stratum can be written in this exact sequence. We compute the dimension of the different strata and we, and we prove that there is a stratum with the same dimension of the modular space. Now, uh, let me give the idea of the proof. So in order to prove that there exists an unstable vector bundle with a fixed value of the second variant, our main tool is the cell correspondence. So the cell correspondence relates run to vector bundles with two schemes of co-dimension two, so that this space satisfies the Kali-Bakara Kali property, where omega is the canonical line bundle, and the Kali-Bakara property is a um, geometric conditions of about the space of, se of sections of this line band. So the theorem says, uh, there exists an extension where E is locally free if and only if this space satisfies the kali property. Then, okay, then we prove that there exists an unstable vector bundle with a fixed value of the second variant. We choose an, an appropriate to a scheme of co-dimension two, such that this pair 
satisfies the Calibacara property. From this, we have that there exists an extension where E is locally free. And, this was, and since this scheme is not contained in any curve or degree 2k minus 1, we conclude that the vector bundle has no sections. And since the degree of the vector bundle is equal to 0, we conclude that the vector bundle is stable. So the proof is complete by showing that the line bundle O minus K is maximal. That means uh, the Segrain variant is equal to 2K. For it, we, we assume that there exists a line bundle O minus L such that L is less than K. We consider this as a subsequencing and since this scheme is not contained in any curve or degree 2K minus one, we conclude that O minus L is, a, is not a subline bundle of E. And the maximal line bundle of, the maximal subline bundle of E is O minus K. And the second invariant is equal to 2K as we desired. So, okay, the dimension of the stratum is obtained by counting parameters of these extensions where we get this formula and we conclude the result. So as, so as corollary of the previous result, we get an analog result for the modular space of run to vector bundles with even degree. Again, we determine all possible values that the function can take we prove that any element in the stratum can be written in this exact sequence. We compute the dimension of the different strata, and we prove that there is a stratum with the same dimension of the modular space. Okay. Now I would like to finish with an application of the stratification related to Brillnetter theory. So in general, Brillnetter theory uh, studies the geometry of certain subvarieties. So for any t greater than or equal to zero, the Brillnetter locus is defined as the set of a stable vector bundles having at least t independent sections. Laura Costa and Rosa Miller Roy proved that the Brillnetter locus has a structure of determinant variety and the expected dimension of the Brillnetter locus is the generalized Brillnetter number. So a problem is to determine for which values, for which values of t is the Brillnetter locus num nt. And so when the numerical conditions about the generalized Brillnetter number implies the emptiness or num emptiness of the Brillnetter locus. Then, Using the stratification of the modular space, we determine a value of t for which the for which any element in the stratum have at least t independent sections if r is greater than or equal to k. And for when the second chart class is big enough, the generalized Brillnetter number is less than the dimension of the stratum. So for the proof we use that any, any element in the stratum can be written in this exact sequencing and this skin C is not contained in any curve or degree 2k minus one. So additionally, uh, under certain conditions, we prove that any element in the stratum admits this number of independent sets. And for this number, we compute a bone for the dimension of the Brinette locus. So finally, we give an alternative proof that the modular space of range to vector bundles on the projective plane satisfies with Brinette. So recall that the a modular space satisfies with Brinette if the general fee, the general chief in the modular space has, a, has at most one zero homology group, non-zero homology group. 
So the advantage of our proof is that we describe, we describe the open set satisfying. We bring it as a strategy. So um, I stop here. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Leonardo.